Hi. We're back. We're back. We're Let's back. go. Get back, back, baby. Let's go. Hello. These uh, lovely people it's me. that I'm sitting <laughs> in the room with, Daniel, <laughs> Jessica, and Miad, all graduated. So I just want to say congr- congratulations to you guys. We I'm are. so proud of you guys. We are the graduated podcast now. That's right. We are all graduated. There we go. Snaps. Snaps. Snaps for the club. There we Praise go. God that we made it. Right. Yeah, I almost I died that last week of school. Do you hear me? <laughs> I died. The degree no. almost finished me. Yeah, I'm that, not yo, gonna that, lie. Was, that was rough. Yo, that last week we was were, rough. Listen, we graduated at nine o'clock. I was up till four a.m. that morning, sending work in <laughs> my final, final work, and it wasn't even completed. Yo, okay? I sat next to Jessica and he had during graduation. Jessica looked exhausted. She was asleep. She like, was. She, I took two naps. naps. She fell asleep with me twice. Twice. Like she literally not be, like there's, I didn't ma- realize, there's I makeup on my gown where her cheek makeup is. Oh shit! Is. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. And you know, I like, and I realized I must have really been sleeping because I felt like that the ceremony wasn't that long. How but long? But now was I it? realize I was sleeping for most of it. <laughs> no, because the longest part was them calling everybody's name. No, nah, that, that was ridiculous. Who? That y'all was were ridiculous. the first group nah. to go. No, we, we weren't. Were not, no. So who was? They it? lied about that. Yo, we were like the big fourth argument. to last, the third big to last. Masters should not graduate with undergrads. They should have their separate ceremony because there was they a thousand. A but then, but then ceremony. the school has to pay twice for that, and they don't want that. But they th- do. Have that a shit separate was too long, bro. They, <laughs> they went ceremony. on forever. There was too many masters getting degrees. <laughs> that shit went on for too long, bro. Not we need to sanction masters degrees, <laughs> but they do have a separate ceremony. Like every school for the masters department, they all like graduate them in a separate yeah. ceremony. Yeah. It, it just but why they do it during our way. ceremony? Because, because that's when they call everybody's you know. name, but it's like, you know how our department, they did like the department end of year party? Yeah. They do something like that for the master's students. Yeah, my sister graduated with her master's. Well, her school was a like a graduate, not what's it called? Graduate school. Yeah. So it wasn't connected with like undergrad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was only a master's ceremony. Makes sense. So maybe the fact that you get your master's here at an undergraduate school, maybe that's probably why it was connected. Anyway, we're a sports podcast. We are a sports we podcast. We are a sports podcast. All right. We have PhD in sports. <laughs> Something like that. There we go. Well, I think we're pretty. We're I pre- think we're pretty knowledgeable. We're pretty knowledgeable. I, kn- I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. That That's it. And that's all you need. Now, <laughs> so let's discuss something that, you know, has been on my mind recently. Um, saw it like a couple days ago, maybe yesterday. Mm-hmm. Joey Chestnut. <laughs> One of the greatest sports athletes of all time. Okay. I mean, the way he eats glizzies, man. I mean, it's just sensational. The way he puts that bread into the water. Can you explain to people who that is? Oh, he's a per, like a professional eater. Of what? Of every of kind food, of food. food. You want me to pull up the accolades of Joey Chestnut? He is best known for being the Nathan's champion for like the past five years or whatever it no, is. No, 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 no. He's like a 13-time champion. Oh, wow. Well, he's, no, because before him was the Japanese guy. Yeah, and he's been he's been winning since that guy s- stopped. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this guy eats all the hot dogs. He just did someone's ice cream. He just ate a bunch of ice cream. Okay, he he, he holds the record for 141 hard boiled eggs eaten in eight minutes, 12 pounds of asparagus eaten, pulled pork sandwiches, 45 pulled pork sandwiches in 10 minutes. He's eaten 53 soft beef tacos from, of Taco Bell. He ha- holds the record for 76 Nathan hot dogs in 10 minutes. <sighs> 182 chicken wings in 30 minutes. That's seven hot dogs a minute. 103 crystal burgers in eight minutes. 13 pounds of pork ribs in 12 minutes. 24 pounds of meat pies. This guy's a goat. In 10 minutes. What else we got? You, I mean, you 30 can pounds of gyros in 10 minutes. 30 pounds. <laughs> oh my 30 God. pounds of fish tacos in five minutes. 126 tacos in eight minutes. These are all records. 118 <laughs> jalapeno poppers in 10 all right, minutes. All right, we got to stop. We got to stop. All right. I mean, his list goes on forever. He's he's a great. Literally, he's still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. I'm there's, up, there's more. I'm up to T right now. <laughs> T. 10 pounds of turkey, a whole turkey in 10 minutes. 
This, this, I mean, this is so fun. This guy's insane, right? So he is the LeBron James or the MJ of eating, okay? But to Jessica's point, he's most famous for the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, yes. which is the July 4th tradition. Yeah. So last decade, he's been running yeah. the show. And, you know, it's set to happen again in July. But he accepted a sponsorship from Impossible Foods. Mm-hmm. Right, which an is endorsement. An endorsement, right? And Nathan said, a word, big boy? A word? Fuck you, Dan. You're banned. But, but where, but where, where banned. is Nathan's endorsement? Why didn't they offer him something? They probably did, but apparently he didn't. They clearly it. didn't beat okay. Impossible's offer, which is kind of shitty on you, Nathan. Sorry, well, you got the bread. Okay. But then they said, oh, I'm bitter, banned. <laughs> You're banned now. You can no longer eat hot dogs what, seven times per minute. What this is equivalent is a relevant sport to a relevant sport, but you consider it relevant, but I don't, is golf when the PGA players left to go to live. Mm. When they went to live golf. <laughs> okay, do you know what I'm talking about, Jessica? Yeah, yes, of okay. course. When they went to live golf, PGA was like, oh, you're doing that? Well, you're not coming to the Masters. And they're like, okay, we don't want to come. <laughs> and they didn't go. And they got no, a billion dollars from, from live. And then eventually they came back. And they well, the PGA, the didn't they realize they had to let him back? They Who the did. hell was going to watch? Well, not watch, but just like, come on, you're going to really... This a many golfers, right? You're gonna tell all these people. I believe that Joey will compete. Yeah, because he even said to himself, "Like I'll, I'm work. We're working on it. We're probably, not, I'm probably not gonna be banned." Here's the thing, right? Nathan's is scared that Joey would win, and that they would have Nathan themes everywhere, and he would be in an impossible shirt. Hundred percent. And it would be bad branding for Nathan. Hundred percent. That's why Nathan's is doing this. Yes. It, this is all a political scheme by Nathan's, just to try to. Save their brand. Yeah, because because it, it looks stupid having everybody else represent Nathan's, and then that one dude who's the greatest thing since sliced bread, be impossible and win and winning dominantly by like thirty hot dogs. Now, now, okay, now oh wait, now you brought up a point, right? Do you watch that live? Do you watch the hot dog eating contest live, Mia? No. Do you watch the live? No, I think it's disgusting, so I don't watch it. Okay. Is Nathan's really losing a lot here? Because I don't watch it live. I watch the reruns. It's 4th no. of July. I mean, people go to it anyway. Right. I'm saying watching it on TV and getting the ratings for it. I understand people go to it, and it becomes like this like tourist national 4th of July thing where we're going to see Joe Chestnut swallow glizzies. But other than that, <laughs> where's the draw? I guess for them, like... Maybe it built publicity, like this whole banning the number one champion. Now people are going to tune in. They're going to be like, oh, why did they ban him? Why did they ban him? I disagree. Mm. I think no one's going to watch it now because Joe is on it. Oh, my Ooh, God. Apparently, anyway. they two million viewers on ESPN. It's a lot of people. <laughs> For a hot dog eating contest, it's a lot of people. That yeah. is a lot of people. Now, yeah. but so I, does I, that number go significantly down if Joey Chestnut is not in it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Maybe. probably. It probably dips like 500K. I'll give you that. That's 500K of less eyes on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Nathan's is losing. Yeah, Nathan's has to pay up. They have to not pay up. They have to allow him to compete. Yeah. Just the name value alone. Yeah, you have to have him in there. I'm sure ESPN's going to be like, no, no, no. He's He's competing. No, 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 no. no. I think I think it's a hot dog eating contest. Two million people are tuning in, no matter what. I disagree. I, dis- I, I disagree with that. Listen, guys, it's a hot dog eating. Co- they only talk about it a week before the Fourth of July. This is not like we wait all year for this. Co- like that's not that type of event. But people get it, excited around this time. So since it's a once, and I bet you a lot of people who do watch it don't even realize like the name of they do, they know his face. Like because I've been watching it. I have, like, I'm like, who's Joey Chestnut? This is not a type of person. This is not something I feel like it's that big of a deal. They'll still get. They'll still at least get 1.5 million. Because now I, who's gonna top that? Because yeah, it's so interesting. You know what? Yeah, I think I think she's right because Joey Chestnut only has 120,000 followers on his. Yeah, Instagram. exactly. He's if not, he had a million followers, I'd be like, oh, they don't. Want, but come on, this is not something. I mean, 38k likes, 37k. Everybody likes, wants to see someone be disgusting, so people K are gonna likes, want to tune in to see. Three. I'm gonna stuff their face. Three. I'm just saying, when you're singing Fourth of July barbecue and you're shoving a glue down your throat, somebody's gonna ask, "Hey, did Joey win?" And then and you, and you, why and you would know they, what I'm why would they about. ask? 
because the they're thing. wondering if he won. But if you know, I mean, if you're, but if, you're but if he's not in it, if he's not if in it, you're paying attention. Then you're either watching it this year or you're not. So if you're not watching it, then I think the conversation. This is the conversation. Oh, did that um, did that guy win? Exactly. What's his name? I disagree. Chestnut. And I if think they he's cared, oh yeah, he's they great, man. He's great. It. Anyways, what what kind of beer you want? Exactly. Like that's that's probably I think what happens. Like uh, na- okay, yeah, I'm on Jess's side. You're wrong. <laughs> no, part of it. Right. The say, amount of times you switch on me I is want, insane. Bro. I want her side I don't now. Say, I don't want to say that Daniel is wrong, but it's just like there is that core audience that tunes into it every year. We I are just disagree. not that audience. What's the difference between? I disagree. 1. We're just not that audience. Two million. That could be true, but I feel mm. like they're not going to lose the audience because now it's a new spectacle. Who was gonna be? Who was gonna? Yeah, who's, who's gonna, gonna be, be the, the next champ? one? Who's of be course, the champ? someone it's has to him. win. Someone has to stuff two hundred hot dogs down their face. Yeah, it's still. If anything, it's more intriguing. I disagree. I think he loses a lot of it. A lot of it. I mean, that, I mean, I guess. I mean, it depends. I mean, Joey Chestnut's not a character. He's not like some guy who's really. I'm, out I'm here not like, saying he's not, but I'm saying when it comes to associating the Nathan's hot dog eating contest with one person, who was the first person that goes to your mind? Joey Chestnut. That's my point. Matt Stone. Do you know who Matt Stone is, Jessica? Matt Stone. Do you know who Matt Stone is? No idea. Thank you. On YouTube, he like ate like ten boxes of Fruity Pebbles in one sitting. Wasn't oh, there another guy? Exactly. His name was like Pete something. <laughs> he also used to do that. Pete who? His name was like Pete. He used to like eat a bunch of stuff in like five minutes. That was also his thing. Yeah. No idea. Competitive eating. Yeah. Which is insane. Insane like, sport. I mean, the way, I mean, look at the technique. The way he just dunked the hot dog straight into the water. I mean, it's perfect, flawless execution there, right down the hatch, and then boom, another one's already halfway down his throat with the one already going down. I mean, it's fantastic, Bob. I mean, this guy might be the, I mean, he is the MJ of hot dogs. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, where I, I listen with all these like niche little things on ESPN. Uh-huh. I mean, we, we, people care, but like in like, the grand scheme like, of things, you know, it's like the WNBA. People cared mm-hmm. before Caitlin Clark got into the league. Now it's now it's more people care, right? Yeah. Now with some of these sports, you know, people care. Obviously, yeah. to say nobody watched it. It's is false. like it's it's false because people did it's just not that many people that really care. But the people who watch the WWE now is in has grown insane, like not even exponentially bigger than exponentially. Exponentially, I don't know. Yeah, how, I don't know what the next one. They is, were able to afford charter flights. Charter flights. Are we jumping into that conversation? No, not yet because <laughs> I have a spicy take. Okay. About Caitlin Clark, and I and I think you you will disagree with me. Okay. <sighs> I don't want to say it now. <laughs> well, let's what, do we, what do you want? I mean, why not? I, I, I think you should say it now. You know what? You know we what? We can talk about Forget her now. Caitlin Clark should have been on that Olympic team a hundred, a thousand percent. Okay, I percent. agree. Why makes you think I wouldn't agree oh, with that? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I, I thought you would have disagreed on that. Because no, you probably, okay. I, I thought you were going to say like, oh, she's a rookie. How does she, no, how does she need no, to be listen, on the listen, team listen, now? When I first heard it, my honest opinion, when I first heard it and they were like, I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense. Because I'm like, she did, she did her college Straight to the WNBA, I was like, maybe she's out of gas. Like, that's how I saw it at first. I was like, yeah, "Yeah, of course they didn't put her on the team. But then when you actually think about it, and because of everything that's been happening lately, I don't buy their excuse on why she's not on the team. Yeah, because then they say, like, we tried to build the best team. They're trying to make this, they're trying to make this narrative that they want to, that they're building the best team. That is a fair point. That is fair. But that is not why you didn't put her on there. You didn't put her on there because you didn't want any. Bullshit within your team. You didn't want a distraction. That's what you didn't want. You wonder what I and told him. And because she's not, she's she's not very. Hold on one sec. She's not very welcomed right now. She's getting her rookie hazing going on, and they kind of probably don't want her on the bench. You already have seven gold medals, and it is clear why you have seven gold medals, and most people never knew or cared because you do not know how to market your shit properly. And you want to know why you they have seven gold medals? Advantage. Because everyone else. I'm just gonna say it. When it comes to basketball. Women's basketball, especially these third world countries, cannot compete. You're five <laughs> one, Asia Wilson six six. Listen, You're not to get, competing. To get to this Olympic You're round, not. to get to the Super round, they did struggle a little bit. They didn't like blow these teams out, but you don't need to blow teams out to win. You just need to win. But the fact that they already have seven gold medals and no one talked about it the way they talk about it yeah, now, like they haven't proves lost. 
the WNBA and the Olympic Committee, you guys are you guys are choosing not to truly capitalize on your product. You don't know how to promote it. That whole fucking team needs to be fired. That whole executive board who was like, yeah, no, she can't be on the team because we're not here for ratings. Then what you here for? <laughs> what are you here for? Play in someone's backyard. Go find a basketball court somewhere where there's no TV. Then why are you on TV? Stop it with the bullshit. Stop. Be yeah. honest with the opinion. That's what I don't like. I feel like... Now, the teammates, the players, the athletes may be honest about that. They may feel like, okay, no, she's not well enough yet. And I can, like I said, that point is very... I agree with that point. But that's not why she's not on there. You know that's not why she's not on there. Stop it. But but they can't say They the can't real say reason. it, but this is yeah. why the WNBA had such a shitty time the past 20 years marketing. You had great athletes. You never put them out the way that they the way they're pushing Kayla now. And I get it, she's of a different breed. We got social media. But still, you guys had great success when it comes to actual trophies and you still couldn't market it. And now you have your chance. You have your chance and you're still blowing it. That's shitty. That's a shitty job. That is a shitty job, and this is why they are not getting where. You only got the charter flights because of Caitlyn. That process has that process has been going on for a few years, but you know damn well it would look crazy to put your star player in commercial seating with everyone else. <laughs> so enough, enough. She does she technically belong on there? No, but this is the time to show the world. Yeah, we are finally putting our foot in the fucking ground. You're gonna recognize us. Because she's going to shine a light on everyone. Because seven, seven gold medals prior to this, no one cared. I watch a lot of ESPN. They didn't give a shit about those seven gold medals. And all the ladies out there, stop fucking lying. You didn't know about it either. You didn't care about it either. Yo. Wow. Oh, great fucking you. rant, Jess. That was, a, I was, that was one of your best rants rant. on the show. All right. Oh, and I'm not even on so You know good. what, yeah? Yo, we took, <laughs> we took three weeks off. That was... That was she was holding that in. Let's look at the roster, right? I know there's, like, at least for me, one person that she could replace right now. So, Nafisa Collier, easy. Okay. She's, like, the second best forward in the league behind Asia Wilson. They're guaranteed, right? Kalia Copper, right? She's played great. She's on my fantasy team. Hey, now, girl, right? <laughs> she's playing great, right? She's a scorer. She can hoop, right? She's good. Chelsea Gray. Hasn't played a <laughs> single minute of basketball. Because it's ain't really about basketball. Why is she there? Because. Uh, Kayla Clark okay. should be taking that spot. Brittany Griner. The only reason why she's on the team, you want to know why? It's because she, of what happened She's 6'9". <laughs> she is 6'9". That's it. Listen, I get, I agree with the with the people who were like, Sabrina Inescu, not... fair. I respect that. Jewel Lloyd, fair. Respect that. Kelsey Plum. I like Kelsey. I think we can do without. I think we can do without. We have enough scores who can shoot threes. But Caitlin, you don't need it. You already got one probably. Caitlin just did. Now, uh, uh, one thing I will say is Rihanna that... Rihanna Stewart, fair. Diana Taurasi, fair. Alyssa Thomas, fair. Asia Wilson, fair. Jackie Young. And you had ah! those same girls. A lot of these people had been on there the last two, three medals. Where was the crowd to talk about it? Nobody. But Nobody. now you got the crowd and you're still over here like, we got it. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, you guys. WNBA, the NBA, step in and be like, okay, you guys need a brand new team who's who's with the times. We need to mark. You guys talk about market, revenue, income for the salaries, and okay, this is how you get it. Hello. But you know what else put her in the spotlight too, Jess? The three on three, which she's not a part of either. Oh. Haley Van Lith is on there. I, that's my point. If she was on, imagine she's on the three on three with Cameron Brink. And oh Angel my Ray? god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Do you know how much entertainment that would pull? With the but three of them together? But that's what I'm saying. They're not, they're not capitalizing. They don't know how to market. They don't know how to promo their league. Honestly, and I get it. It's two separate things. The WNBA, they're two different things. But they work together. They work together. Ryan, and they work listen, with the networks, too. This this girl named Ryan Howard. She's good. She's a good player. Nobody knows you. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Van Liff got cooked by Caitlin Clark. You want the girl who got yes, cooked by exa- Clark? This is what I'm talking about because this is not about basketball. You know what? You know what? I believe that they did offer Caitlin a spot, but you want to know what she did? She said no. She said, "Nah, I'm tired." Then that's fair. I'm Say tired. that. But then I think they're saving face. 
This is their way of saving face. I don't think you're giving. You're basically throwing them bail right now. Hundred <laughs> percent. I don't. I you don't think you could be that stupid to let off your fucking golden goose right and now. And also, she didn't go to the tryouts because you wanna know why? She was in the NCAA tournament. She couldn't go to the tryouts. She couldn't even be there. That's what a lot of people seem to forget when they're like, she didn't even have a practice. She didn't because she's playing. She was winning. She was trying to win a championship. And I get it. And strike... people are watching that over the WNBA. Look, honestly, I think Camp Brink, Angel Reese, and Kayla Clark should be on that team. They could ride yeah, the pine. Yeah, definitely. And I yo, Angel care. Reese would have made that. I would have been so happy. I would have been so hyped. Because she deserves to be, well, maybe not deserves, like, um, but she can bring in viewers, too. And she's a good player. Yes. She's a good player. Let's be real. They're winning the gold medal. If they don't, that's a different conversation and another, another story. They're winning the gold medal. There's no reason they can't be on that team. There's no a better than, not better than, they're winning the gold medal regardless of who they're playing. Yeah. Let's be real. Who's on that team, is good. that's that's the bigger story than if they're winning the Who's gold medal. Who's competing against USA? Who? Morocco? Stop. Spain? Know. Stop. <laughs> what other teams are out there? Croatia? France. Ugh. <laughs> Forget it. Australia? Who? Oh, come on. Come on. Well, Some wait, wait. Was, what was that game where Brianna Stewart had to win by, like, that last-minute buzzer, that last – who did they play? They weren't trying hard. Stop. They weren't trying hard. <laughs> they weren't trying hard. They were like, oh, okay, now Look, we'll I win. I just feel like they should have came out and said, this girl has been playing basketball since November. She's exhausted. She has not she, – she didn't have a chance to prepare to be on this Olympic team. She's not ready yet. This is bitterness. Just say that. It is bitterness, and I'm going to say an unpopular opinion. And oh. I don't care. Just say oh, she's it. been on a say roll. It. Say it. Say it. This is prime example why women will never take over the world. Prime example. And this is prime example why the WNBA has lacked so terribly the last tw- the last 10, 10, 20 years trying to get their shit together for a prime time. Because you are choosing how you feel over the fucking dollars. How you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You know what it is too. The Olympics pulls in a lot of different markets. A lot. You know what I mean? Like, you, you're not just pulling in the people who watch WNBA. You're pulling people who watch the NBA. People who watch fucking track and field. Who always watch the Olympics. Who, who always have who it on. Who strictly watch the Olympics but don't watch any other sport known to man, which is weird. <laughs> but they only watch the Olympics because that's their time. And it's international. But you don't have the one girl who can make your game global in there. That might be the dumbest shit. Because that's why. Seen. That's what I'm saying. But you instead, are not thinking, we'll, we'll put, you are not thinking of the overall health of your league. No. You're thinking about your quote unquote thinking about winning. Because let's, let's, let's face it. Not winning the numbers, clearly. That's not what you focused on. All right. Who's on the team again? Listen, Kelsey now, Plum I, is, is, is fine, right? Let's, let's, right? Kelsey Plum is fine, right? Chelsea, listen, Chelsea Gray. I don't know how she speaks from a hole in the wall. <laughs> Nobody knows. Jackie Young, I don't know how she speaks from a hole in the wall. <laughs> Kalia Copper, don't know how she speaks from a hole in the wall. You know Nobody knows. You know, None of those social you media know why Nobody knows because the WNBA sucks at promoting But also they suck athletes. at doing it as well. They suck as well. Well, they're athletes. I don't know why. They're just, you know who you just named? Another, like, why aren't they capitalizing on You want to know who you just named? Who? Three replacements. Kevin Clark, Cameron Brink, and Jorice. Thank you. Those are your three. And you know what? But you they know don't what? Think They're like going to win a gold medal and not those three. Listen, there's a reason why the NFL has dominated over the last decade when it comes to sucking up the, telev- the television ratings, sucking up the streaming ratings now. It's because they see an opportunity. They go, they go after it. They capitalize it. They, they see the a chance risk. to make the game global. They They're going the, to make they, it global. You think, you think those 32 billionaires give a fuck if their 52 players are bitching and complaining about playing in Germany? You think nope. they lose an ounce of sleep over what those athletes <laughs> no, think? No, not one. Hell no. Why? Nope. Because that's where the dollar is. That's where we're growing. That's where the next fan base is. We are going there to get it. If the ratings aren't there, we won't do it again. But guess what? The ratings are there, so now we're going to have more games over there because eventually it's going to be a very permanent thing. They're going to work that thing into our – that's why they want the 18th week, that 18th game. Look. It's all for the international play because it's time to grow. And the WNBA doesn't understand that definition. You don't know the word of grow. You know what's crazy? <laughs> MLB has more international games than WNBA. I just realized that. Wow. And the NBA. You would think that they would have like one game in like Paris MLB. MLB goes to England. They go to Mexico. They had a game like in Germany. Like, a, a, like Yo, a, a, the MLB, MLB put in a pitch clock. You want to know why? Because it's time to grow the game. We need more people <laughs> watching instead of turning away. 
we need to we need to get back in our prestige status of American sports. So we will take the risk of a pitch clock, and it's paying off. Very well. It's paying off. I leave Yankees games at 945. I'm happy. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, my gosh. It was fantastic. Every, every fantastic. time I go to a Mecca, I'm there to 11 because of the rain delay. Oh, God. Well, there you go. I just I wish. I, I to wish be I, honest, I wish I could go to a Met game and get out of there at 9.30. I don't have to watch that for three hours. You know what it is? <laughs> I don't have to watch them for three hours. That's a great day. Oh, my gosh. You watch them for two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, like, oh my God. Fantastic. Uh, and they lost. They lost 8 to 1, and we only went only 2.40? Damn, we're bad. But that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that, you know, the whole WNBA, not the whole WNBA, but, like, most, the of, whole, the, the most the of the WNBA is bitter. Yeah, for this one reason, you want to know why? And it's so obvious, because and I hate the ones who are denying it. Because it's so obvious. You want to know why? You guys are too deep into listen, the forest listen, to see the trees. Listen to this, Miad. Are you ready for this? They're bitter because they feel like they are better players than Caitlin Clark. And some are. are correct. Some are. But they get, they got no shine, no recognition, yeah. nothing to show And that's show because they have it. the wrong people in place to push the there. game ahead. They and then, do not have bright now, minds in they those see this little, this, this little girl. No, what did Pat McAfee say? Call him what did call They see this little white, white girl bitch. over there. No, let's see. Let's come well, on. Well, you could say that. I, I, you know. Oh, you can't. Yeah. You this can't. little white girl, they see this little white girl over here, <laughs> and they're like, who is she? Charter flights? Yeah. She's she can just shoot three. She shoots from deep. That's all she does. What? How could we ain't get this before? Because well, all of you are boring. You shoot mid ranges and take layups. That's not fun. And they brick layups. And you brick layups, Aliyah Boston. I'm talking about you. That's not fun. That's, That's what I'm not saying. Fun. They're not. They're not the league as a whole. Players, the organizations, the person. Like they're not guys, finding a way like, to market themselves well. But, but also, then the I players have, have to play better. You have to play and more entertaining, whether that is crossing up, shooting more threes. If they start shooting more threes, I promise you the game will grow. This is the Steph effect. When Steph came into the league and they started integrating the offense around Steph, guess what happened? Every team started adopting it. But now all Kim Clark has to do is win. If she wins with her style, it's over. The WNBA is finally going to take off. Because then they're gonna if be like, if they let it take off, the WNBA is gonna find a way to shoot themselves in the foot. Be like, oh, we're we're. They're uh, gonna find a way to blow this whole thing up because uh, they're already on their way. <laughs> they're already on their way to ruining it. <sighs> Jess is right. But yeah, yeah, what's up, yeah. I have a question. So it's like, why are the athletes mad at Caitlin Clark that now that things are changing because she's here? It's not her fault though. It's Thank really you. Not no, her it's fault. not. No, but they're but it's but it's envy. It's like oh, and they may they're not jealous. even be really mad at her, but they're mad at so why why all of a sudden yeah, why she gets changing the heat, but now. Like I said, culture has changed a lot. Yeah, culture has changed a lot. Our devices have changed. Everything's going like Diana Taurasi couldn't go viral in two thousand. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> True, it's like yeah. yeah. So Kaylin is just in a different position. Also, but Diana Taurasi is boring. Stop. Either way, they're no They are now in a position where all of them can get some shine, and yes. no one liked what Kennedy Carter was. That, is that her name? Kennedy, yeah, yeah. What she did, but she got her name out there, That's and now we all know her name. And now people will watch her. But now she looks stupid. She looks crazy. <laughs> but but <laughs> that's what entertainment. Is. That's yes. right. What did she do? That's what did she what do? Is. Okay, so Ooh, she got a you ready for she, this? I I know the whole timeline. I was watching that game too. He's showing me breakdowns of this, and he's like, "We're doing reenactments back there." That's right. <laughs> Try it. Like, this, I, this is amazing. I've know? watched every Indiana Fever game. Okay. Dog shit team. They're uh -huh. <laughs> so bad, right? But this one game in particular, they're facing this it's Chicago Sky, and they're playing well, right? It's a close game, right? Uh -huh. And this was on so, prime time too, right? I think it was. This was on part like three o'clock prime time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and then. So, Kennedy Carter is saying that, well, not saying that, but fans are saying that she apparently got elbowed in the face by Clark. Now, when you look at the footage. Do we want to reenact this again? <sighs> yes. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> all right. Here, here, here. All right. Me, Ed, you got to Google it. All right. So, you got to YouTube let's, let's the video. Kind of okay. squat down, right? All right. So, let's say. Who I'm are you? I'm K I'll be okay. Kennedy. You guys right? look crazy. You could be Kennedy. Okay. You could be Kennedy, right? So, I'm trying. So, the ball's in the air. Right. Right. I'm trying to, like, box out. Go for right. a rebound. I'm going for the rebound. Right, and that and that's See, what it was. No, wait, bring and your arm back. Bring your arm back. It's right here. I'm, I'm lifting her arm to the to, head. to my face, and I'm putting my face on the elbow. Right, <laughs> and then that's what that's it is. the oh. argument. And then that's what it is. Right, that's the argument. All right, we're back. Right, so that's what it is. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. And then Kennedy Carter felt a certain way, 
And Caitlin Clark, she be chirping in games. I'm not going to say she's completely innocent. She chirps, but that's, you know, competitiveness. Like, you chirping, right? We talk in trash, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to beat you at a sport. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be the most cordial. Hey, how are you, sir? Hey, good shot. That was great. You're not going to Larry Bird it. No. And then Caitlin Clark talking some trash, right? She feeling herself. She hitting some threes, right? And then Kennedy, right? She, you know, hits a mid range, mm -hmm. right? And then right, immediately after the as they're trying as she's trying as they're trying to inbound the ball, she just goes boom right into Kalen Clark. Oh! And then Kalen Clark falls. They blow the whistle, and then initially it wasn't called a foul. These refs might be the dumbest people I've ever seen in my entire life. Also to the Indiana Fever team, so Aaliyah Boss, you standing right there. You're not going to press Kennedy that's Carter. That's another that's, another that's, reason why I said women cannot take over. The world because we do not know how to stick up for each other when the time, time you're comes you're not going to press that, that's the most like that, that? that's the most egregious. like uh, uh, you at least gotta get in her face no nah. you, you don't gotta hit her but you gotta get in her face because you want to know why they're not gonna fight we, we know, know they're this. not get in her face yeah. oh, we know you're not gonna fight be like yo yo why you did that son why you did that and look down on her like come on do something cool like bro like, like so right she gets pushed and then kennedy carter in the post game interview the chicago sky lose the game right she's probably a little mad that they lost the game so then, <laughs> before, like, they're trying to talk to her about the Caitlin Clark thing that happened. And she's like, I'm not answering no questions about Caitlin Clark. And that's what Next I thought question. was stupid. <laughs> Next question. That, that part was stupid. There's nothing to that talk about there. Stupid. Next yeah, question. girl, stop it. Stop mm -hmm. it. Stop. And then stop. On, you should have and then ran on, your mouth. What is it? Threads? The new thing for Instagram or Twitter? It was one of those apps where you just type and say words. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Great description. It was one of those. <laughs> Great fucking and description. And then there, there. She comments under it like, "I'm not even tripping off that. Y'all tripping." Da 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 da. Kaylin what? or Kennedy? Kennedy. Kennedy. Kennedy's online. Yeah. Chatting. And she's like, "What does Kaylin Clark do other than shoot? Like, she not even that cool like that, <laughs> for real." And then people are like, "Ma'am, didn't you just say you weren't gonna talk about her? Yeah. You weren't gonna answer her no questions. You weren't gonna keep. You gonna keep her name out your mouth? What happened now?" Mm -hmm. What happened? That's what I'm and saying. All she, and they all don't she, know how to capitalize on shit. And all she does is just shoot. She's averaging more points than you, more rebounds than you, more assists than you, more steals than you. She's she a could better have gone player on her overall. Soapbox. More minutes than you. So what's up? Like, she could have gone on her soapbox and made her case on why Kaylin Clark, yeah, she, but she ain't great like us. You could have said all that. You could have, but no, you want to sit there and play, huh, huh, pass it And then on Twitter. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm like, you don't, like I said, y'all do not know how to capitalize your brand on shit. Because. Not all y'all need help. Because they're bitter. Because they think that they're better, which some are, some players are definitely better Way than Kayla Clark. Yes, Kayla's got a lot to grow. She's got a lot to get but used to. they didn't get no love. That's yeah. why they're like, "Why well, aren't you so loving get what I do?" Mad you, at why you're you, not branding you, the proper way, and why the WNBA is not branding you at all. Hey, hey, you want to know why we don't love your game? You shoot a 15 footer and a layup. That's whack. That's that's nobody's watching that. This isn't 2000s NBA. We're not watching that. I, it's boring. I want to see somebody shoot from the logo, step back three in your mouth. Stupid. <laughs> I want to see that. That's what I want to see. And that's what a lot of fans want to see. And it, and Caitlin Clark highlights when she was in college were like, there was not a negative comment when a Caitlin Clark post came up on Instagram of her like dropping forty in college. There was no one negative comment, not one. Maybe one who was like a couch potato. Well, there potato. was always haters. There was always a couch potato, but then everybody's like, bro, she would cook you. What are you talking about? You look like cooked potatoes. Please stop talking. Right? It was it was the whole thing. She's generational. So is Andrew Reese. So is Camp Brink. They know how to market themselves. They they know what they're worth. Yo, so Andrew Reese is going to have a great brand. Oh, my God. She's oh going to have God. a great brand. Yes, she is. I follow her on Twitter. I love she her. Is. She's so fun. Exactly. She's got personality. Yeah. Which a lot of these women, unfortunately, they don't. Like. Don't. And the WNBA so. is not putting in anyone there to help you grow that. There's a lot of male athletes who don't have personality, but they We've got brands. We've had brand. before. And it's happened before. I'm so following why are they not the Indiana Fever on Instagram? <laughs> and I they're never not, and they're not great. They're not thankful for that. It's crazy. They don't care. And that's rather sucks. be better. Imagine if I was jacking the aces right now, <laughs> right? Like imagine if I was jacking the Lynx, right? Like I'm jacking the worst team in the league. Yeah. Because Kenny Clark. That's it. It's like the LeBron effect, the Steph effect. The MJ but while effect. she's on the team, while she's on the screen, we are noticing the other players now. A rising tide raises all boats. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to get a, if you can't, you need, you better find a way to make that work for you. Like, don't get mad at it. Capitalize on it. I didn't know who Jackie Young was until like 
month ago. <laughs> right? I didn't know who who else is on my fantasy. There's a lot of people we didn't know. There's a lot. Because there was no there was no one talking about it then. There was a very small niche group that was continuously constantly promoting, you know, the WNBA, but those were not mainstream things, mainstream outlets. I didn't know who Jewel Lloyd was until <clears throat> very recently. It's because of Caitlin Clark. I know, and also I'm Look, do, I did the fantasy because I tried to get Caitlin Clark. WNBA, you right but. now you don't want to hear it. Maybe you don't want to accept it. Yeah. Maybe your players are crying about it. I don't know, but you got a golden goose right now. And you better take a page. You better hold out of on the to NBA's it. book, out of the NFL's book, out of MLB, even out of the NHL, who's making a serious comeback when it comes to viewership. Like you have to learn. You have to get with the times. Get with the program. Don't. They could easily ruin this. Caitlin Clark could just be some big, whew, some big fling we all have, and in two years, time goes by and we're right back to where we were, not really caring about the WN. They can blow it. They can. They can totally fumble this, but. You know, they have to, tr- like I said, they need a whole new team, a whole new, they need a brand new marketing team, a brand new sales team. They need a, a commission, a brand new commissioner. You know what? Yeah. A this commissioner is, who's this, like, this is business. This is going to be a segue. If Jerry West didn't pass away, I would have just threw his name in the hat right there. I would have said, Jerry, to be the ambassador. go rebuild the WNBA. Because that's what they need. That's And that's why everyone's mad, because you're banking on this one girl to rebuild it for you. Yep. And she doesn't have to be the only girl because you have talent everywhere. But y'all have a piss poor way about showing that to the world. Yep. So y'all need a brand new system in there. Like yep. you need a brand new commissioners. It is the coach's responsibility to make sure they win. The commissioner is about making that bread. Yep. How do I make this the most visible? All that stuff David Stern did with Jerry West over those years to make sure the NBA can compete on television. Come on. And everybody they didn't shy away from Michael Jordan. Everybody complained about that too. And they got over it. They did. <laughs> they, they got did. over it. And Michael. They, they and then in the nineties, yeah. NBA basketball was fantastic, and all those players couldn't stand Michael Jordan, but we got to know their names. And their pockets got a little fat. What? Way fatter. Way fatter. So, the w- get it together, ladies. Get it together. There's only one person who makes two fifty k. I think you guys need to stop talking and start shooting some more threes. <laughs> get a, open your Instagram. Start posting every yeah. day. Get Post some personality. Personality. In there. Make me laugh. Shoot more threes. And I'll say this: Kaylin Clark doesn't really have a lot of personality. No. But guess what? She's her game is on fire. That's and if you have one or the other, that's what you need. If your personality you is great, we'll watch you. If your game is great, we'll watch you. Kawhi Leonard doesn't even have that much of a personality. He doesn't. But his game the is, man his is, game is nice. dry as drywall. And guess what? But he's 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 kind of Tom Brady got no personality. Don't he's talk to so me about drywall right now. Don't talk to him about drywall. Don't talk to him about drywall right now. <laughs> Why? Why? Don't. No, he's gonna show you the bathroom again. Oh, yeah. Don't so don't, so don't, so don't, don't talk so to me about drywall right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. I didn't but, mean to bring. But up. at least Kawhi, right? He's funny in his own way. In his own way. And that makes him nice. And that makes it cool. Yeah, but in his Who own way. Who I never heard Kalia Copper speak once. <laughs> I only know Kelsey Plum from that meme her of her eating popcorn. <laughs> I know Asia Wilson because she's well, the I'm no, best I player. I learned about that's Kelsey it. Plum through the Pat McAfee show. There you go. But that's because he's you a see? football guy and he was into football. Guess who plays football? Darren Waller, her you see? ex-husband. They tried, but she tried to brand herself a bit. Exactly. And now she's in commercials. And she's doing that without Kaylin Clark. Who's Jewel got... Lloyd? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's in a State Farm commercial now. Good for her. God bless. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> uh-huh. Right? Right? So, like, let's Louis, girls. we going to Islam? What's going on? Son, I think the WMA needs to go to Islam. And the thing is, they, yo, they women need have the, the thing is, women have charisma. So, they these, do. La- so these athletes got it in them to brand themselves and to make themselves a marketable product. Diana Taurasi's 41. Get her off the lipatine. Like, stop it. <laughs> She's 41. Go sit down. <laughs> Diana, you're a great ball player. Sit this one She's out, She's one of bro. the greatest. You, you know she starting 40 minutes for the Olympic team. You know that, right? She's starting her age in minutes, bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Listen, she's great, okay? She's great. She's a hooper. And she's one of the ladies who definitely paved the way to make the WNBA at least get to this point. Because I remember when she was in college, you got the yeah, okay. dying. 
<laughs> and she was cooking in college. She was like the best college player at that time. Yeah. Yeah. She, they wouldn't stop talking about her. She was all over sports. But then once she got to the league, that was it. And that was a WNBA drastic fail. An epic, epic fail. You know what it is? They also had Sue Bird. And they also had Maya Moore. Then Brianna Stu- like You know what it epically is? Epically failed. I feel like the fans are keeping the league alive. They are. And keeping Kaylin Clark alive. They okay. are. The oh, WNBA, yeah. if it's up to them, we, they burn it all down. We're not allowing the WNBA to go out of existence because we need to support Kaylin Clark. Yeah. And, and we cannot team, waste you know her. Her teammates need to also help keep her alive because she's just getting beat every single game. Now, now you got to get in somebody's face. She's getting picked well, up. That's right. well, that's you got to get in the last place because they probably would. All, they'd also that, but that also says they wouldn't even do that for each other. But Not also, they just came. There's a reason why they're in last place. You, the, Their chemistry sucks. But also, their team is garbage. Erica Wheeler, <laughs> cardio, cardio. That's what she does out there. Lexi Hull, occasional corner three, cool spot up shooter. Christy Wallace plays okay defense. Aaliyah Boston, you need to hit the gym. I'm sorry, because the way you run, you run like you have no speed. We need agility drills. We need you to stop missing wide open layups. We need you to develop a jump shot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm mansplaining. No, no you're not mansplaining. No, I'm this not. is this is how you talk about you, sports. And you athletes. need a jump shot. Nelissa Smith plays like Carmelo Anthony in like point five speed. <laughs> Crazy. We need more speed. <laughs> that's so. But that's, that's a true. great you need comparison. More speed. Listen. That's a great comparison. I started when I started watching soccer. What I loved about it, what kept me glued to the screen, the speed. How quick these people are. S- hockey. The speed is crazy. We need more speed and stop these lame post moves and stop a bad layup that doesn't work and you know it's not gonna work. Shoot threes. I promise you. If once Caitlin Clark makes the playoffs and wins a series with. Shoot, playing the way she does, I promise you. I promise you, they will. I need Steve Kerr to replace Christy Sides because you know what Steve Kerr will do. Hey, Caitlin, you know I know you're two for eight right now, but man, you're such a good shooter. Like you're just so talented, and you have the range. I, I mean, that step back. I mean, come on, I couldn't even do that in my day. Michael Jordan would have slapped me if I tried to do that. <laughs> right? You're just so excellent. You. He need, She needs that. She needs the five-out playbook. She needs the Steph Curry offense. Fire Christy Sides. Fire the GM. Get me in yeah, there. Get <laughs> Steve Kerr in there. I promise. The only thing well, that we'll do. Well, they need to do a lot because it's a failing team. Aaliyah so they Boston, need to do a lot. you'll become the new Draymond. I'm going to need you to pick up some speed, more defense. You're, you, you're already 6'5". You're tall enough. I need you to start elbowing women in the face if they even touch Galen Clark or breathe on her. Okay? That's what we need. You have to protect the cash cow. You can't... Look at how frail she is. Kayla Clark is going... She has bruises every morning she wake up. 100%. She's probably crying every time she wakes up. like, oh my god. I gotta go back. This is my third game in four well, days. Well, this is... Well, oh. I feel like for her, this is great development. This is great. And because if she truly is great, the way we are expecting her to be, she's going to eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 100%. She's going to get way better from this. She's not going to be the same player this time next year. She dropped 30 like a couple nights ago. She's going to develop. Mm-hmm. She's not going to sink under the pressure. I don't think she's going to break under the pressure. I think she's she's one of one. She's going to be the next yeah. one. And also her team. Trash. I'm not saying that it's easy te- for te- her. Te- and garbage. she's probably not sure. Of course, if I was her, I'd be crying. She's probably got her boyfriend every day. Oh, my God, they hate me. I ain't got no <laughs> friends. I ain't got no friends. They hate me. Erica you know, Wheeler's trying right to talk now. to me again. She only does cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Make a shot, Erica, please. But what I don't like is the other rookies trying to come for her. You know, Angel Reese, I feel like she's almost joining in with the mean girls. Like, yeah, like... I can read, and I'm just like, girl, don't go there. Have, a, have you have y'all heard anything from don't Cameron Brink? Don't join the Brink? bitter bitches. Let's let's huh? just let's adopt the Cameron Brink strategy. Just wear cool outfits. <laughs> go do interviews with Paul George. Go see Jimmy Butler on the sidelines after the game. Just do that. You, don't, you I swear, you do not even have to bring Caitlin Clark's name in your mouth. Just do things. No, that they people need to, will they care. need to do their branding. That's it. If you brand yourself, which she is. You guys are professional athletes. You have the access. You have the access. Demand the access. 
You have it. They're acting like they're. You can they're hire like, the best teams. They're acting like they're fifty years old. They are. You know how like your mom tries to get on <laughs> Facebook and like she takes like very bad pictures. That's what they're acting like. Like, oh, how do I work this? How, how do I work this phone thing? You're twenty six. You're twenty eight. You don't know how to work a phone. Stop it. Brand yourself. Be better. Anyway. And you see how a couple years ago. Nobody will talk about the WNBA ever. We a just couple had... years ago, Kyrie Irving had to donate to get you guys paid. That's right. That's why this whole we're not going to put her on the Olympic team for the sake of the integrity of the team is bullshit. Because if you were serious about playing your players, you would do what every other, like I said, the 32 billionaires in the NFL, I don't care what you say, your ass is on the team. And you are doing this. And that's it. That's it. Just become MJ. Just treat her like MJ because she is MJ. Now, granted, you may think that you're better than her. A lot of people thought they were better than MJ. <laughs> a lot of people thought that. And only one of them got six rings. And only one of them got six rings. So there you go. Once Ka- I swear, once Kayla starts averaging like 25 a game, it's over. They can't say anything, though. No. Like, this was the one This is the one Olympic year that they could, they could have made the sacrifice. Take the heat of we're losing our integrity. Take the heat of, oh, my God, they left this person off of Kayla. Because in four years, they'll be thanking you for it. Let me tell you. They'll be thanking you for and it. You know what? Yeah. You'll Kate, be thanking yourself for it. You know what it is, yeah? Caitlin Clark would have cooked on the U.S. Olympic team. You want to know why? Because her teammates are better. She she would start on the bench, right? She would have been in the starting lineup. She would have to been. She would have to she, be on the bench. She would have been too good. The bench of that team is still an all-star team. She would be fine. Can you imagine? She her? would get wide open looks can you imagine, all day. Can you she would cross her? over this girl from Italy. Sorry. She would cross <laughs> over this girl from Italy. <laughs> Unnecessary. She bro. would be she would dist- she would step back on these girls from Puerto Rico. There like it wouldn't even be close. I just feel like they missed an opportunity. And this is an opportunity you may Could not you get. Could you imagine again. her on the These girls from Nigeria wouldn't even be able to guard her. Like, stop. Dog, the three on three with her, Cameron Brink and Andrew Reese. They could have done that. That, could, w- that would have, been, have Kate Martin this on the bench. Not about, this is not about basketball, and it's not really even about competition. Because that was that's a great three with three names you just named. Like, like that's not about that. This is all about the, satisfying. The, 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 you put the, Haley the, Van Lith. The, 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 the three on three is new. Chemistry. You know how much fun that would have been for the three on three to get promotion for itself? Right? Oh, my God. That's not, but they don't have anyone in the room to think like that. And that's why we don't have that. Yo, that's why we have someone else. Yo, isn't it funny us that... Us four got to be in the room. Isn't it funny that everybody... <laughs> us four got to be in that like, room, dog. Everybody on Instagram would have had the same thing that we're saying right now. And it would have been like, oh, wow, that's a great idea. What we're saying right now, oh, wow, it's a great idea. All these old heads, they're all old and stuck in their ways. And they can't... They don't have no foresight to think, oh, my God, what about the, this game 10 years the, from now? Because they'll be gone. You want to know why? Because they're because what they've done previous, and what they're doing now, it won't be substantial enough to keep them around. So they know they're gone. They're not gonna be. They're not thinking ten years down the line because they won't be here ten years down the line. Dun dun dun. That's that's true. You well, won't. That's why the WNBA needs to get someone who has foresight, someone who's innovative. They need someone who can. Not worry about right now, but seriously take right now. Like, well, we need to expand to this bigger vision. Steve Ballmer. And they don't have that. Steve Ballmer. We need Steve Ballmer. You know what that is? Get Just Bob Myers on here. Bob. Get Bob Myers. Right? I was going to say you. Honestly, right? Like, oh my God, I, the Clark rules. I Nobody just... can touch her. <laughs> <laughs> the Clark rules no, immediately. No, I feel like what we're suggesting and what other people are suggesting is not rocket science. No. Because I'm thinking, if we can think of this, I'm sure you can pay someone millions of dollars to think of it, too. I will have a limit. There's just too much evidence out there of other entities taking chances and making it work for them and taking opportunities and expanding what they have. And the W, you just, you keep proving why you're not it. Oh, my God. I you would just keep proving I, why you're not it. I would enact so many rules. This, this makes sense now. <sighs> it makes sense why Yo. no one's watching this. Why before now... Very few people were watching the WNBA because look at who's fucking running it. Son, if I ran the WNBA, <laughs> one second in the paint. <laughs> <laughs> no more camp setting girls. Get to the three-point line. Shoot, shoot the ball. Get a jump shot, right? You get one second for a rebound. Every guard has to shoot a minimum amount of threes a game. At least three a game. You have to attempt at least three threes a game. And if you don't, you're fine. But you know, maybe, maybe uh, they will they will take the advice. Maybe this time next year, we're gonna have a whole slew of WNBA players who 
It's not just going to be about Kaylin Clark oh, anymore. Because that's how you're going to prove if you actually just, grow. She's it's the first just wave. It's about Kaylin Clark for the next five years. Paige Beckers is coming next year. Can't wait. I, I, I loved her during the tournament. Can't wait for she's her. So she's a Christian good. girl, too. There you I go. I can't wait. Can't that, wait. That's right. She's going to be there like, I just want to thank Jesus. All right, Harrison Bucker. <laughs> 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 Who, by the way, saved his teammate, <laughs> all you friggin' haters. Exactly. Anyway, speaking of his teammate, uh, Travis Kelsey apparently doesn't wash his feet. What did he say? Um, <laughs> so this is just a long line of like white people just openly admitting that they don't bathe as much as they should. <sighs> Travis it's Kelsey like, washing feet. But like, why are you confident enough to get up in public? Because he's an athlete and he's that. an okay. athlete, so he can say. This that. is what he said, right? And I quote. This is not me. This is Travis Kelsey. I'm not washing my feet every time. But after a football practice where my feet have been like makes sloshing noises, yes, I wash my feet. You what, But what's wrong with just like sh- sh- picking up on two? Sh- what's wrong with that? You can't do that? You lose balance. Stop. You know how <laughs> big Hold his freaking shower wall. is? Please. Hold on to a wall. Get some water Stop. in your hand and sp- like, just you don't have to be down there feet. for 10 minutes. No. Like, you don't have to, like, Rinse get in the feet, But listen, bro. Taylor Swift also doesn't wash her legs, so this makes sense. Uh, Again, a long so line just a of bunch white of people not hats. washing yeah. themselves. Ugh. And they're proud to admit it. Why are you proud to admit that? And then, and then Jay-Z Kelsey talk about you got to get the hot spots and feet aren't a part of the hot spots, so you really don't got to wash it like that. Listen, what? Jason, I respect you. That's a guy thing. I respect you. That's the biggest guy thing I've that's, ever heard in my that's life. That's kind of dirty because feet can smell. Yes. Yeah. And you're walking Bad. and your feet are, you're literally suffocating your feet with the socks, the shoes, even though he wears flip flops. And you're it's an carrying athlete. carrying all your weight. You're an athlete. You should wash your feet. Every day. Every day. Twice a day. Every practice. <laughs> every practice and every off day. No, no, no. Listen, when you wake up, listen, before practice, after listen, practice, I, and like when you go, there's when you go home. There's a lot of white people out here who don't wash all the time. And they openly admit to it. It's one thing where it's like, okay, I don't wash, and it's like, that's a secret I keep to myself. Because listen, like, there's, th- listen, because people will argue. Why are you confident people with that? People will argue with you that medically speaking, like, just, oh, like, like oh, just forget, oh, forget oh, culture, oh, forget oh, society, oh, but just, like, oh, for your physical well-being that you don't necessarily have to wash everything every day. And medically speaking, you shouldn't try to get hit in the head every time. Like <laughs> but you do but it my anyway. My thing is this. If you have, if you're a person, especially in the Western world, where you ha- may have more resources. You should. If you have. Use if you are, them. If you, if you are mentally and physically well able and you have access to water hot or cold and maybe clean clothes because a lot of people don't have access to clean clothes i get it you should be showering daily yeah if you do not want that you can go to some of these places where they do not have access to any of that and you tell me if you don't want to take a shower every day there's a reason why human beings have decided to evolve And build indoor plumbing. You know who because started medically that? You know speaking, started this that? is how we survived our planet is by finding new ways to keep ourselves sanitized and healthy. And you know alive. who started using soap and like who like invented the practice of like washing yourself? Black people. Yes, because when Marco Polo and his people went like, to the Middle East and to parts yeah. of Asia, they were like, "Yo, you smell." <laughs> <laughs> Literally, but that is that is in the Literally. history books. They did not know when they hey, yo, got. Bruh. Listen, when they got to the Middle East and parts of Africa and Asia, they saw the art, they saw the map, and they, they smelt, and they were like, "What is all of the?" Do y'all had, know why it was from? called the Dark Ages? Because nobody was watching themselves. That's why people were getting now, sick. Imagine Marco Polo coming back after the trip to <laughs> to Asia. He's like, "Yo, Henry, you put this side." But that's what happened. Yo, he bro, came back. Like, all those explorers came back to the West. Henry. Came back to Europe and we're like, yo, they have everything over there. Henry, this is soap. We gotta get back. <laughs> we gotta go, get Henry. back over there. We gotta get the spices. We gotta get soap. Hey, p- this goes get, on you. Get the bucket. <laughs> Did you know that? And then he's like, whoa, my skin. Bubbles. Whoa, crazy. What is this? Right? And then and then get this pail. Dig out the water from the river listen, and then pour it on. Listen, you. I listen. There Holy were people shit. who wait, didn't wait, shower wait. back then because they associated showering with the poor. They were like, if you're dirty, then that's why you have to shower. No, it's true because in, in like in old England, they the royals would take their water, and it would like go in like a river. So like the dirty water would go down to the peasants. They had to drink it. That was Ew. the drinking water. So that's how they did it in old England. Stop it! You're making me gag. You brought up Michael Marco Polo. <laughs> I can't bring up old England. <laughs> no. But also, I'm just saying, there's people who don't like. To you know, people in Bridgerton don't shower. 
They did. Yeah, bro. They was not showering. You know they all stinking up in that room. <laughs> they was Don't not showering. You know? Bro, like I Napoleon said, like I said, wrote yeah. letters to his wife talking about some, I'll be home in three days. Don't shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how oh, rough and yeah. tough human being a human being used to be. That's and a, we decided right collectively Without that we need to do better if, as if a you, society. If you can accept the scent of your woman, bro, that's true love right there. Honestly? If everyone true smells love. like that, then yeah. Yeah, if everybody smells... Like, if she only has three-day musk and you're done smelling like 10-day musk, three-day musk <laughs> smells great compared to 10 <laughs> days of musk, right? Like, I, I feel like, like I said, if you have access to these things take advantage because now. when it's not here your ass is going to be wishing you had it very much true literally your ass is going to wish <laughs> very much true going to have it. right so check it right let's say we get home right we all get home we take a shower mm -hmm. right it's like whatever time we take a shower but it's the same day today we go home we okay. shower then we go to bed okay the next day let's say you don't have anything to do and you're just going to stay home when in that day do you shower Probably later in that day. Very yeah. much so. I'll probably shower like, probably like four thirty. Yeah. Five o'clock. If I'm literally not leaving my house and I have nothing to do, I can wait till later in the day. Yeah. That's fine. But if I go outside at any point, once and I get home, you also have to remember. I shower. feel like let's be honest, where you live in New York City, it's dirty as hell here. And it's mad hot now. It There's mad, mad pollution hot. out here. When you get on the train, you better be showering. If you have access and you are well able, get in the shower. Like Stop before, being like before, lazy. like before I go to work, I shower. Yeah. Once I get yeah. home from work, I shower. That's twice a day, right there, mm -hmm. bang bang, right. Right. Let's say <laughs> I get home <laughs> off day net tomorrow. I shower that day. Off day comes. That's a one-time shower, bro. Because I already showered at night, and I ain't go nowhere. That's a, I'll shower once because your face gets oily, right? Your skin gets oily, all, all those sort of things, right? You're just moving around. Your body's going to emit sweat. So I'll shower. Boom. And once. I think women, especially Bang. women, you need to shower every day. Like, knock it off. Everyone needs to you shower. You need to shower every day. Like, just clean. Like, like you know what happens, ladies. Stop playing And also, games. it doesn't take long no, to get doesn't. a good shower. No. But people are lazy. Like it, five but minutes is all you really need for a good shower. That's how lazy we have shower. become, especially that's it. in America. They don't even want to wash themselves. That's so crazy. Like but I think it's also like you're comfortable, and it's like it's funny almost to share. Like, oh yeah, I don't shower. Ha ha he he. That's not cute, bro. You stink. Yeah, yeah no. You stink. It's now, not cool to you stink. know what I need? I need Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher to come out. No, I need people who know <laughs> them. I need people who know them intimately. And I need them to just drop the anonymous gem, like, yeah, yo, like, he, he kind of reeks. <laughs> I need them to drop that. Because what if they well, don't Well, they reek? seem like they're the couple where they're okay not showering until someone smells. Then they're like, okay, I guess it's time for us to shower. But that's gross. That is gross. But some people are okay if you're gross together. Ugh. And because they're gross together and they're fuck with, they're going to be together for the next 50 years. True love, baby. A couple oh. like that will stay together forever. God bless. Because ain't no one else taking that smelly ass if they care about themselves. <laughs> Right. I, I can't do that. I wash my feet. I'm going to wash my feet when I get home. So you tell me if Travis Kelsey came on this podcast and he went home and didn't practice that day, he's not going to wash his feet? If he doesn't get in the shower. Travis, come on. Come on, Travis. Come on, bro. We were rooting for you. We were rooting for <laughs> my you. My thing is, like, why wouldn't you want to wash your feet? Your feet don't get dirty as a player? You're playing in he's like saying dirt when and he's grass. He's not practicing. No? He's not washing it. So if he has practice or football that day, he's gonna take a shower and wash his feet. Uh -huh. Yeah, because when he, he doesn't have practice, so because, the next forty days, because they're gonna be off, foot. he's not gonna be washing his that's feet. That's athlete's foot. If he doesn't wash his feet after practice, because but that's the cleat damage and all the dirt in there. That's athlete's foot. Yeah, you that's have why to he wash does your feet. It. If he's in sandals and sneakers, he doesn't have to wash it. That's his, that's his thought process. You're in open toe sandals and sneakers, and you don't. Your feet are out in the world, exposed to the elements, and you don't want to wash. No. Your feet? I'm that's, just saying what, what I'm thinking. He's saying because that's on the that's, that's a guy. I know, that's I know, but saying. if you wear flip flops, I'm like a guy. Like I do. You need to wash your feet. Yeah. Hundred percent. You need to wash. Your I'm wearing feet. slides. Like I said, right a now. lot of it depends yeah. on where you live. A lot of people do spend a lot of their time in their car. You They're not what? out in the streets like we are. You so I do kind of think yeah. it may be a cultural geography thing. I get it, but I still feel like. Yeah, he leaves his perfectly like air-conditioned mansion. It takes two seconds. Just, just, just You're done. You don't even have to look at your feet for the rest of the shower. Yeah, you just have to rinse your yeah, feet off, bro. 
He does he, 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 I'm sure he washes it. his face. You don't face. have to scrub it up. Just put your just t- let the water in the soap up just a little, just a little friction. Right. Get get a little scrubber thing. You can put on your hand. Just Exfoliator sh- gloves. Sh- sh- yeah. Sh- 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 just get a bar soap. That's it. <laughs> just get a bar soap. At this point, uh, the Irish Spring is perfect. At this point, bar your soap is great. Your hands are perfectly fine. Yeah. They're, actually, all those other things, rags, next, they feel so good, but they harbor so much bacteria. That is true. It's actually terrible for your skin, but it makes your skin feel good at the same you time. You got to clean weird. it. You got to clean that. Even thing. after you, you clean it. There's studies that show even after you wash <sighs> and dry it, there's tons of bacteria you still you in those I want to start you thing. My sister, she has like this, <laughs> this like spiky <laughs> brush for her hair. I know that exactly is, what you're talking about. That shit is mad comfortable, bro. That yeah. shit goes deep, bro. Yeah, it's a scalp or like a hair the scalper, massager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that shit's I have good. that too. When I wash my hair, I do that. Yo, that shit's good. Yeah. That shit's good, bro. Great stuff. Let, me, let me tell you, bro. You mix that shit with the soap and the shampoo together, bro. <sighs> bro. And then you scrub the back too. Oh. Get the back. Oh. Showers are nice. Showers are very nice. Yeah, they are, and they're relaxing. They're good for your mental and your emotional state. That's why I said if you're mentally and physically well able, there are people who are not and they can't shower every day. Are you they're a shower de- or a bathroom? They're dependent. I don't bathe, really. I, the last time I bathed, like in a bath, like oh, a bubble bath. bath. Well, I'm I don't have. Ba- a, I haven't I, taken a bath in I don't know since I was like seven. Well, I don't have a. T- <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a tub, so I can't oh, bathe. Okay. And also, okay. I'm kind of tall. I most have a tub too, but I'm not me. trying to take a bath. Most yeah, tubs like whoa, most tubs whoa, won't fit me, whoa. so it's like I can't. I'm My taking legs a bath be- recently. They're nice, kinda. Yeah, once in a while. Once but you're in not, a while. But you're not going home being like, let me get my bath bomb. Do, 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 do. And then the next day, let I me get my bath bomb. I used to use bath do, do, do. bombs, actually, and they're very fun. They're very relaxing, I will say. But you do once that in a while. when you're trying to treat yourself. When I was yourself. a kid, my mom used once to give us while. bubble baths, and we loved it. But that was when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. But you're not bathing in a bath. No. You're just you chilling. Mean? Basically, yeah. Yeah, you're just chilling. With all the but soaps. Also, like, cleaning camera, myself like, a little not bit. Not camera. What Candles on. Right, you got a show playing. You, you maybe got a snack. You chilling. Are, a little wine. Are you bringing oh. a computer to the bathroom? No. I have. Stop. I have to. Stop actually. doing that. I have that. to. Stop doing Why? that. Why? Just get in and out of the shower. I don't need a whole DJ set listen, <laughs> listen to that while my sister showers. No, but I, I have. My let's sister say, puts on an hour long show and she's in there for an hour. Like, get out. If bro. it's UFC, I'm keep bringing my laptop. Straight You're bringing your laptop? Yeah, and I'm propping it there and I'm just. As I'm as I'm scrubbing, mm-hmm. as I'm scrubbing, you don't want to miss nothing. That's right. Right. You know what I'm saying, gotta, gotta get in there, and I'm watching I somebody get just get KO'd, right? But y'all not scared about like the FBI like watching you through your camera? Why is that a thing <laughs> that I should be worried about? I mean, I feel like you should be just a teeny bit. No. What are they gonna do with that? I don't know. They just like keep it. What are they giggling at me? I guess. Like, I don't ha, know. Look at that guy. I guess I don't know. He, 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 look at it. Look at it. Look at his chest. Uh, look at him. I, I don't That's, know. That's no. I don't care. All right, we're sports podcast. That's podcasts. fair. You don't. All right, care. Right, we, we are we are a sports podcast. <laughs> we're sports we're, podcast. We, we are a sports podcast. Let's, FBI, stop watching us. FBI, please stop. The FBI is watching us right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, yo, Jeff, chill out. They probably take baths. Yeah. The FBI probably take yeah, baths. Yeah, Jeff, get out of the bath, bro. Also, who's Jeff? I don't know. That's our FBI agent. <laughs> He's watching us right now. <laughs> Let's let it be. All right. <sighs> Next. UFC 303. Okay, I'm going to tune out for this conversation. That's fine. You actually might be interested in this. You actually might be interested in this. This makes no sense. Okay. Also, do you not want to move the mic like that? It makes oh, sorry. a bad sound. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I feel like I have lost interest in UFC because you don't stream it anymore. So I'm like, I can't keep yeah. up. Yeah, I'm working. Yeah. You can't come home and stream it. You don't work that late. Well, Lewis. sometimes the. How did we watch 302, Lewis? How did we watch 302? Discord. Discord. All the baby reviews I always stream on Discord. I'm always with him and Beanish on Discord. Yeah. You never tell me when you're streaming it. So how the hell am I supposed to know? Am I a, am I in a mind reader? It says I it only on. Go on Discord. It says uh, it on the notification that Lewis is streaming now. Why not? Turn your uh, notifications on. I don't get notifications. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. Stop it, Mia. No. <laughs> That's how I know you don't want me to care about UFC because you don't let me know. Whoa. He's always like, no, yo, pull up to the Discord. When he does, I do. And but every times, time, but when's the last time you did that? Last month. He said, "Pull up to the Discord." And I did go on. Not but the I'm last saying, one. How we come did. y'all don't ever tell me when y'all are on the Discord? Because oh, he, he like don't that. say it. He don't blast it anymore. He tell me. I don't. I don't he don't yeah, tell me. Yeah, because it's a butt buddy thing. You guys don't. This is a UFC. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys. yeah. Butt buddy is this girl, you know, bro. Yeah, it's butt buddy. Me add, me add, Look at me. It's a bromance they got with the UFC. Okay. That's why. 
fair. They don't want to include us. I get it's it. It's okay. I get it. I'm free now. I can really like watch UFC, all that good stuff. Remember when Daniel wasn't there for all the <laughs> UFC Apex cards? I wasn't. I really wasn't. Damn. I really wasn't. Who was there? I was there. Jessica. And Jessica look, you there. don't even tell me now when you go on. Damn. Because when I'm on, when the fights are on, I'm at work. That's not always true, Lewis. Yes, it is. Lewis, the UFC comes on so late. 5 p.m. it starts. I'm at work. And when you get off, it's still on. <sighs> That's pay-per-views. Pay-per-views. And pay-per-views, guess what? So how'd you watch it the other night? What do you mean other night? Didn't you guys watch it the other night? That was like two weeks ago. That was like two weeks ago. When you bet and won money? That was two weeks ago? Oh, no. that was like months ago. No, you just sent me a message. Oh, no, that, that was, was for the, horse. That was for the horse. The horse. The horse. The horse. The horse, baby. But yeah. UFC 303 is happening on June 27th, Saturday. <laughs> last Saturday of June. It's the McGregor It's the McGregor return. Car, uh, 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 Allegedly. Sorry. Apparently. Please. Because this fight has been on and then off and then on and then off. And then and today. Then on and then off. It's in limbo. In, it's a, oh, we're in limbo, guys. What is Ariel Hawani doing? Who is he speaking to? This is what I'm saying. Like, you can't just drop that and not say anything afterwards. Yeah, like, oh, it's in limbo. Why? Nah, we don't know. But they're looking for replacements. What? For what? Why is it in limbo? Is McGregor, like, doing cocaine again? Like, what's up? Did another girl come out and accuse McGregor again? What's Do up? Do we know? Like, is Michael Chandler doing something silly behind like, the closed doors? This is probably the biggest fight. That UFC has, UFC has had in a while <laughs> in terms of like bringing back casual fans. In terms of bringing back million viewers for pay per views? Everyone's That's looking right. forward to this fight. Yeah. Everyone's ready for this fight. As a single, as a non title belt pay per view. Yes. As well. Because that's what people aren't talking about. This fight's not for a title, it's just regular. 170. They're not, they're not even in 170. <laughs> and they're fighting at 170, bro. But I know people are going to pay for it. So why why is it in limbo again? Because they just shut down the Ireland press conference. Press conference. It didn't say anything. And they were just like, oh, for unforeseen circumstances. And nobody has any evidence of this? And now the fight, and that happened like two weeks ago. And now the fight goes in limbo. The fight was in limbo before, and then Aria said, no, it's back on. And then now he's saying it's in limbo again. Like you, but like you can't just say that and not back up your sources. Yeah. And not have anybody piggyback on At that. this point, you got to name drop. Yeah. You have to be like, it's D. Devlin, his wife. It's, it's, his, it's his son. His son telling me the fight's in Libra. Like you have to say something. Because then Michael Chandler's sitting over there like, I don't know anything, but I'm ready to fight. He's been ready to fight since. He's been ready. To fight. Last year. Yeah. Since, when was it? What was it? What, what's his dumb competition called? The reality competition. Tough? No. The other one. The one with Shevchenko and Grossa right now. Oh, tough. Yeah. The ultimate fighter. The ultimate fighter. Yeah, tough. I don't know why I blanked. T-U-S. And since that, he's been ready. Yeah. He's been ready for mad long. So why is it in limbo now? UFC? Does anybody want to say? I feel, I feel like we're just like. I feel like someone's going to wake Dana up. You know what it is? We're in a dark room. And we can't feel any walls. And we're just like, Hello? And we're waiting for somebody to talk back. But nobody's talking back. We're just like, well, is the fight going to happen? 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 <laughs> just in a cave echoing. No? 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 Maybe Dana's in like a, a dark room. Room? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I'm not understanding. Why can we not? Why is this fight? Why? Like, what? what's happening here? What's wrong? If, like, if, if this gets... Cancelled again. Because it's June 12th. The fight's in two weeks. It's in two weeks. Who are you getting a replacement for? You're moving up a prelim. That's the only thing you could do. With Jamal Hill <laughs> versus Carlos o- Carlos Olberg's the main event? Stop. That's going to no sell one's watching that. 80k pay-per-views. Do you want to know why it will sell 80k? Because they already bought it. Before the whole thing. Everyone already bought tickets for it. Yep, that place is sold out. Yep, that's gonna go on fire sale really quickly. Very quickly. Nobody's gonna want to go see that fight. They'll just be like, I just want to make my money back, and they won't, because nobody wants to watch that. No, nobody does. So it it, it but, sucks. It's, but but you know what it is? It sucks because we don't know what is happening, at all. 
I don't even think Ariel really knows what's happening. Because you have trusted sources. Say something of substance in this conversation. You're just saying, oh, it's back on. Why? What has happened that will leading you to this conclusion? Are you just talking to somebody saying, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's back on. I, I yeah, think, I don't know. I think it'll be the dumbest move UFC has ever made if they cancel this fight and not say anything. I mean, they will, but we won't believe it. Yeah, because then it's like, oh, you're just trying to save face? What? What is happening? Yeah. I feel like we need we need Chris Hansen on the case. We need him to tell Dana White, have a seat. Have a seat right right here. Right here, Dana. So, so why did the Dublin press conference not happen, Dana? Hmm? Why? Oh, Dana's got a... F- oh, <laughs> double press conference? I mean, I mean, I, 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 was, I was trying like, to get some stuff, stuff happened, you know. But Jamal Hill, Jamal Hill. Great fighter, Jamal Hill. But Jamal Good. Hill. I mean, this guy is a KO artist. Yeah, but Dana, what about Conor McGregor? A Co- John, John Jones, Jones is one of the greatest fighters to ever do it. He's going to be fighting MSG. In November. In November. Yeah, but Dana, what about June 303, UFC 303? Dana, snap out of it. John, John so, Jones. Sorry, sorry, I was thinking about Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley. I was, I was thinking about John Jones. John oh, Jones. Oh, man, he's going to come back. He's going to be so great. He's going to beat Stipe up, man. It's going to be so sweet. I'm thinking about Tom Aspinall not getting the UFC uh, oh, every man. championship belt. Yeah, but Dana, McGregor, focus. Who? 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 Focus. Who? Who? You're Conor McGregor. John Jones. Conor McGregor. Say it with me. Connor. John. <laughs> Connor John McGregor. Jones, November, MSG, CP Miocic, main event, 305. June 27. November, okay. John Jones. I feel like we're talking to a boy when we talk about the subject because nobody knows anything. No. I, I don't even feel like the person with trusted sources knows anything. So, damn it, sure, it, I it, don't. It's so weird that it's two weeks away, Right. Like, if it was, like, a month month out, two months out, like, okay, well, something happened, but we're going to find out. We might not find out. And if we do, we're not going to believe it. No. I don't get it. Uh, Unless, like, a, like a Connor went to fucking jail and yay! nobody knew about it. But how would you not know about that? Exactly. You tell me nobody has their cell phone out taking a picture? So, I don't think anything the, but the, But the only, like, le- legitimate reason why it would be postponed... Is Connor went to jail, or, or uh, or I don't know. Connor wants more money. Or Connor, but or no, Chandler he, he wants went, more no, money. No, no, no. I what don't, I don't think be? that would be. I what could it be? The fight's two weeks out. You, they got their money. The but fight's the, two weeks the, out. But the UFC is very notorious for doing this. They because the UFC the fight, is an the underground company. They're the most underground company I've ever seen do business. That's on top. That's on top. They're on top, but they're still so low-key about it. They're like, yo, we're going to promote this fight, but no contracts have been signed yet. It's insane. It, it, I don't know. Is, this, is that the case? We don't know. Because it's in fucking limbo. <laughs> but Hawani knows. The constant state of this. That's what it is. That's the fight. Who no? I I I gar- I still think the fight's gonna happen, but I guarantee you we're gonna be with this till next week, yeah. till next Wednesday. Yeah, we're till like the Friday of fight week. We're not gonna know what happened. No, and then Saturday, and they're gonna drop it at like ten o'clock at night on Friday. You wanna know what else is in limbo? Uh, the Lakers coaching job. Yo, also in limbo. Because who's gonna be the nice head coach? Apparently they all. Why won't? Why wouldn't they? I know they tried to go after this Dan Hurley guy, but why? What happened to JJ Redick? What they? What didn't they like about him that he was too close to LeBron? I no, like now he's uh, getting now, the job. Now apparently he's like the number one option. But why wasn't he the one, number one option? Because Dan before? Hurley is a fucking coach. And he's a great. coach. He's a great coach, and he guess what? He's a head coach, and guess what? He's won a national championship. Twice, and guess what? He took a UConn team so that why was would they, nothing. So why would they bother JJ Redick then if they, if Dan Hurley was always their number one? Because LeBron's his boy. I guess that makes sense. Also, JJ Redick's a good basketball mind, but he's not Dan Hurley in, in terms of bas like coaching accolades. Of course, he doesn't got the same experience. He's not Dan Hurley, and this guy that's just watching him talk about basketball. That's a guy who fucking loves to coach. Yeah, he just loves coaching and. You're talking about uprooting your family that you and he's been with years at UConn. 
20 plus years that you've Here's $115 million. Fitness. You know, he's going to say no to that? He said but no to 60 or 70 million. A lot of people but said, because that's 70 million. That's not, come on. But in Mark terms of, for the Lakers, in terms for the of, Lakers, you want a two-time champion to, you want someone to get off their throne, because he's on his own UConn throne right now, to come over there just for 70 million to deal with LeBron James. That's what you're going to offer him? Some people, it's not that's about money. That's what you're going to offer him? Some people, it's not about money. That's too low. That is too. I bet you if he would. I bet you if it would have been like 110. I bet you that would have been a serious conversation. That would have been a serious conversation. Ridiculous. That there's that's a fake check. That that check is bouncing if you try to cash it. There's no way they're paying. What they're what they were offering him was not that much different from what they're offering other current head coaches who are not of the fucking LA Lakers. He should have been the highest paid coach. That's what he should have been offering. He should have got the Monty Williams contract, which he did. No, he no. got the Monty Williams. He should have got more than Monty Williams. He's a better coach than Monty Williams. He's done more than Mo- Monty Williams. That's what I'm Williams. saying. You're the L.A. Lakers. You got LeBron James. You're asking someone to get off a mountain they are currently on. That's uh, that's, that's that's asking He's a lot. He's winning another national championship that's asking this season. A lot. You got to come with more. He's than, going to UConn can Final give four. him seventy million. He can get that from anywhere in college college football uh, basketball. He's got like, his own on. fucking building named after him. So why? They yeah. didn't, they didn't so why go to push. the Lakers? You you have this legacy, and he's. Tra- I'm not leaving that. I'm not leaving UConn for seventy million. Okay, I don't think you would. I can left get it that. I got my fa- yo. I got my family here. I got my life here. I got my team. That I'm gonna keep building. Some here. people don't care about the extra. I three agree million with you, but year. he does. But he does. Why would I leave a perfect situation exactly. for maybe a two year job? Yeah, and you're not because doing that for seventy million. That's what I'm saying. That's not a. It wasn't worth the risk. Because you know what's going to happen? If they lose, he's gone. He's going to be scapegoated like every other coach was for LeBron. He didn't play Bronny enough. <laughs> he didn't play LeBron enough. Because you know he would have had to draft Bronny. He would have had. That's part, of, that's part of the contract. Draft Bronny James. That's why the Lakers want a figurehead. Dan Hurley's on a figurehead. He's a fucking coach who's going to change yeah. that entire locker room. JJ Reddick? And they don't want that. I'm sorry, he's a puppet. He's a puppet. He's you know, a puppet. Who, who would have thought that LeBron James would have... And I'm not saying that we should blame him, but yo, what, what a p- power force he's grown into! Like from when he first arrived to the league, like who would have known that he would have gone through? He would have eaten his fucking coaches alive. When you're great, and you get what you want, you get what you want. Yeah, but damn, <laughs> he's got this what happened to David by Black? The because you cannot scapegoat LeBron James. So what do you do? You bring in an incompetent coach who you could easily scapegoat. But if you win, you fucking win. Yeah, what, what happened to Frank Vogel? What he happened? won the next year, out the fucking door. What happened to David Blatt? Weren't they, like, first in the East when they did that? They fired him? They fired him. They brought in Ty Lue. Why didn't they just hire these because guys from Jump? Because he clashed with LeBron. Why didn't they just hire these guys from Jump, then? Because he clashed with LeBron. Why do you think uh, uh, Budenholzer got fired in Milwaukee? Because Giannis didn't like the way he coached him. So we bring in the first guy, who Adrian Griffin, who was okay, and then we bring in Doc Rivers. And guess what? We still suck. It's almost like the coaching, you know, doesn't have as big as an impact as we're trying to I make disagree. It out to be. I disagree. There are some, it has an impact, there are, but there are the some players coaches. on the court being able to execute the plays and the offense and defensive schemes are more important than just the coaching itself. But it comes down to the players having the buy-in to want to play for their coach. Yes. There are some teams that could not give a fuck. Tom Thibodeau, his players bought in. Eric Spolstra, his players buy in. Greg Popovich, his players buy in. Right? There are other coaches that there's uh, Finch, his his coach, his players buy in. Right? You think the Durant and Beal and Booker give a fuck? About Frank Vogel? No. And what he says? No. It's about the players having the buy-in and wanting to co- play for their coach. Yeah. They're individuals. When LeBron plays, it's it's about him. He's a great player, but it's about him. Dan Hurley was going to bring team basketball to L.A., and LeBron couldn't handle that. And J.J. Redick's going to make it all about him now. J.J. Redick might get fired and never see another job ever again. He'll be an analyst again. I don't. He will never see the light of day. I on don't a, think he'll be a color bench. guy ever again. <laughs> he could just fall. Off the, he'll just be like, "I'm good. I'm good. I'll just retire from ever speaking basketball." I mean, like he'll have his own podcast. He'll have his own podcast with LeBron. Which, which oh gosh, you got to cancel the podcast now. Yeah, 
You gotta cancel the podcast. That podcast has to be tampering. Yes. At some level. Cause you don't you don't think they're talking behind the scenes? Come on, bro. Come on, dog. They're talking behind the scenes. Of course they are. He's got the job. We know he's got the job. Yep. It, it, it was a matter of the Lakers tried to get the most competent coach on the market, which was Dan Hurley. They didn't, so we're going with LeBron's guy. But also, he rejected the offer. Dan Hurley rejected it. It's not like Dan Hurley wanted to. No. He saw the offer and was like, nah, okay. I'm good. Because the Lakers come calling, you have to hear them out. He heard him out and was like, nah, I'm chilling. I want to try to win a third one with UConn. Thanks. I, I, I don't blame Dan Hurley. I don't blame... I live did. a great life. I make millions of dollars to coach men's basketball. Right? It's not It's not I'm, I worth live great. It. It's not. I don't want to live in L.A. That's so the farthest point from Connecticut. Why would I leave? Go to, to a whole different coast. My kids got to go to a different school. It's more about... It's not about basketball. He's basically Nick Saban of UConn. Yeah. That's how important Dan Hurley is to UConn. That's if Nick. That that's if. That's if the Giants right now called Nick Saban and say, "Come coach, we'll try to get him from Alabama." Would Nick Saban do it? It would depend on the money, but probably not, because why the hell would he leave out of Alabama to go coach the Giants? I mean, he th- didn't he do that once? To coach the Dolphins. He did, but then he went back to Alabama. Because he stunk. He stunk. Yeah. But he got this job back in Alabama when he became a national legend. But, but why would you go to the Lakers that shit show right now? Yeah. That's literally fumbling And you know LeBron has one more year, and you know you're going to have to do a rebuild, which I don't think Dan Hurley is opposed to doing a rebuild. No, but it's a matter of now you have to manage expectations that you're the Lakers and you have to win. And I know Dan Hurley knows this team sucks. This team sucks. But the thing is, like, he's coming in. Getting all this money, and they're going to suck, and he's going to be scapegoated by the fans, by ESPN. Stephen A is going to ride his ass all fucking show. 100%. The entire four-hour first take I mean, I don't know how, why you bad hired him. Dan, how bad Dan Hurley is. I, I, don't, I wouldn't hire this brother. I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Stephen A, Stephen A, come on. Come on, man. How you going to say that about, about Dan Hurley, man? He's a two-time national champion. He has done it in the pros. That's right. I said it. Now, but J.J. Redick. J.J. Redick. That's a champion right there. Stop. He hasn't won a ch- but But Stephen A. He hasn't won a championship ever. Why, 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 why do you say he's a champion? Because just the way he talks about the game. All right. We're done. We're done. Yeah, we, we don't need to have that conversation anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I, uh, I don't know. And by the way, Boston's winning. Boston is 100%. They're, they're winning championship. Yeah. They, yeah. It's game three is tonight. Yeah. Like in oh, half an hour? Yeah. 40 minutes. J- is, j- just it, about. It is 7.50. We're, it's 7.50. We're, we're recording right. late. Hi. How you doing? Hi, right. night. I can see the moon. It's great. The moon? Oh it's, oh, it's lovely. What is it? Half moon? Crescent? Maybe a wanting gibbous. Whoa. This guy knows astronomy. His, his, his moon terminology. This yeah. guy, this guy, you're smart. You got you got to know the moon terminology. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a charger over there? I thought. <laughs> I <do have laughs> That's how late it is. That's how late it is. He's like, <laughs> yo, phones are dying. My phone has been unplugged for mad long. <laughs> there you go. Ah oh, man. You want to know who's unplugged? Who? Aaron Rodgers. Ah. Uh, I have mixed feelings about this. So Aaron Rodgers. And uh, Hassan Reddick have not shown up to mandatory Jets. Well, meetings. one of them has a contract thing, so that's his own usual. separate issue. That's yeah. that's. He'll be back in like two days. Okay, yeah. Jess, start us off. <laughs> what is your mixed feeling about Why, this? So you do, you're mixed about Aaron Rodgers not being there? Yeah. Why? I don't I don't even know if it's mixed. But I would say I understand why there's hoopla, even though there kind of shouldn't be. First of all, okay. Okay, 20 years in the league, him missing a mini camp, calm down. Mandatory, though. Mandatory, I get it. But after putting in 20 years, you would think you'd have some type of cachet. Okay, and especially the Jets, you need to sit down and shut the fuck up because you didn't have a Hall of Fame quarterback before. So you, you, you decided to bite, you decided to pick this quarterback of all quarterbacks to lead the team, to be your quarterback, okay? So. 
This comes with the territory. Don't act brand new now. You knew he was a little weird when you got him. <laughs> I love Aaron, but he is definitely different. So this is no shock. Mm-hmm. Where the mixed feeling comes in is it is mandatory. You know you have mini camp in June. I get it. You planned this while it's supposedly... He planned this, whatever, wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he planned this while he was in rehab before the official mini camp schedule came out. So he can claim he didn't know which days. The thing is, you know, June is when mini camp is. You want to know why? Because he's been doing mini camps for the last 20 years. Exactly. So this <laughs> so is not you, brand new. So you he's, know. So he's not a rookie. Yeah. It's mandatory. You knew it was in June. And I hate to say this. Because I do love Aaron Rodgers, and he is our quarterback, and this is the Jets, but this is why. And I don't. I hate that Diana uh, Rusino tweeted this because she kind of is right. You know, he preferred to be somewhere else other than mandi- mini- ma- mandatory minicamp, and this is why you only have one ring. Oops. You don't make Super Bowls in minicamp, no. But the thing is, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, they didn't miss it. Joe Burrow didn't miss it. All these people are important like you. They all had things they wanted to do personally, and none of them chose to do their shit during minicamp. You are the only one out here who did that. Now, to throw you some, to throw him some bail, we don't know why he took off. This could be something very personal. He said it was a prior commitment. This could be something with family. And yo, he's a grown ass man. He kind of he doesn't need to explain to the media nothing. But hopefully he at least explained it to the Jets. The reason why the Jets are the Jets because we have a coach who can't, who has no fucking clue on how to properly deliver anything. Well, that's what he upsets fumbles me. shit that, all the time. And I don't that, think he has. You know what? Me. You know what I think? Every other coach would have found a way to make that sound much better than what you he gotta did. You got to Bill Belichick this. You know, you just got to be he like he's have, not here. That's all you got. to He's not here. Do. He could have said, "Well, we talked about this. Yeah, don't worry." But you up here with your. The body language said it all. You know I am I unhappy he is not here. Instead of standing up and saying, yeah, he's nah. the coach of our team, he's not here this the, week, but he'll be back next week. Like that, like you can't even. Th- th- this is a quote that gets me, right? Aaron and I are on the exact same page. Adding that he was aware of Rogers' plans. There's no issue between Aaron or his teammates for that matter. We addressed it yesterday. It's more of an issue for everybody outside the building than inside. Why you got to say that? Why you got to say that? Just do a bit check. Yeah, he's, he's not here, so. We'll figure it out we'll next f- week. <laughs> He'll be here tomorrow. Don't yeah, worry about it. Probably be here tomorrow. No, he yeah. should have just said. You know, just trying to look. He shouldn't have someday. just no, because he said it like he was afraid to say it. He said it like a kid in the corner, afraid to raise his hand to ask the teacher a question. Um, can I go to the bathroom? No, yeah, we, he should have said we have two players out. So and so, and Ann Rod's not here. Before you guys get into it, I knew about this. We knew about this months ago. He's got 20 and years. he should have left he's it got, at he's that. He's got 20 years. He's been nothing but great to us. He gave us back money. You know what, yeah? He put in his time, and don't worry about it. I know it's going to be fodder for you guys, but don't worry. We are perfectly fine no. here. He don't got the confidence why? to say that. You want to know why I say no to that? If you're explaining, you're losing, like Tom Brady said. You don't got to say nothing. Just be like, yeah. Yeah, that you know, is kind of fair, but you but, here, but, but so that's, that's what you're is. talking about. But this is New York City. This is New York City media. You got someone's got to explain something. There's a reason why the I, media I, here. I, I, there's, no, the no, no. reason why a we, it is the way it is over that. here. A good coach would have just said exactly what needs to be said, and he's not here. We excuse the absence, but he's not here, and that's it. But that's the problem, Salah. You. This is why he I, this plays is, into the media. When he when when I saw that, I was like, you know what? There's no more denying this, and I'm sorry I had to do this to myself as a fan and everybody. But it's just like, yo, we may not go nowhere this year because the leadership is trash. The organization is just. I, f- I feel you like you don't know what to, you guys. You none of y'all sound confident. Aaron Rodgers is the only one that's confident. In that whole damn team, <laughs> the whole damn building. He's the only one brave enough to be like, not coming in, and I'll be fine, and y'all will be fine. Get over. It, I'll see you later. <laughs> no, but the fucking head coach is like, oh, yep, yeah, he's not here. It's inexcused, and you're saying it's inexcused because you don't want to admit that. Okay, we gave this guy control. Ooh. You don't want to say that. Ooh. It's inexcused. You're the head coach. Would Andy Reid have said that? No. No. Kyle Shanahan would have said that? No. no. Kyle Shanahan no. would have fined his players for say, for even being out. He would have fined them immediately. Sean McVay would have done a line and then not said that. <laughs> he would have been like, yeah, he's not here, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We got guys here, you know, good guys, good practice, you know, good sweat. You know, build, building up, you know, getting the plays in. You know, we That's got rookies saying, coming in and because, here. And because we have a coach yeah. who 
can be a good coach. He's he doesn't know how to put shit out there. You first of all, you look tired. You look like you already at a loss. I think he has no backbone. You have no energy. You just over here like yeah, it's an excuse. Co- comment on that. I think he has no backbone. They don't have a backbone. No backbone. That there's no culture there. <laughs> that's why the Jets have been the way they are. You got no culture. And sorry, Aaron, like, and that's why I was very iffy. I was ecstatic when he was coming to the Jets, but it, like I say, even with Sauce gone, I was like, what did I say? Are you sure you want to be here? Because this is not a winning organization. This is what I said a couple years ago when they hired Salah, right? The re- I never like hiring coordinators. Because I, but don't th- they all start off as coordinators? But this team needed a head coach. Not a coordinator, not a defensive mind, not an offensive mind. <laughs> but Think a about it. Does a, d- does a good coach want to come to an organization like the Jets? You got to entice them. With the right money? You got to entice need, them. Look, but that's why I say like our the front of office needs help. The, the, the owner, Buddy Johnson, he doesn't. I feel like you don't know what you're doing either. This team... If they win, we're keeping Salah, right? That that's just that's how it's gonna work out. I don't believe in him. You don't believe in him. What the fuck do they believe in? Because <laughs> clearly we're not believing in the same stuff. We're seeing it now that this guy's not a leader of men, and that this guy clearly does not know, does not know how to handle the media. It's only a ma- once we get into the games in December and November, where every game becomes exponentially important. If he starts mis- fumbling it. We're fucked. When push comes to shove, I don't believe in him. I just feel like... And starting now. He's got... I don't know. But he's our coach, so we can't write him off. And real quick... I don't want to write him off. Real quick. On, okay. Real quick. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about many camps. I don't. I, I think no, stupid. No, no. And I feel I, like I, I that's why I said but someone like Aaron Rodgers, 20 years, he don't need to be there right now. If it's one time. It's one time. Okay. I, I could give a fuck where Aaron Rodgers is right now. What upsets me more is that Robert Sala is already starting on his bullshit. <laughs> 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 that's what upsets me more. I could give a fuck where Aaron Rodgers is. I, Gary Wolves could be wherever, wherever he is. I, I could care less. As long as he's not on a highway going 150 miles an hour, like I, 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 as long as he's then not he's in, fine. If he's not in jail or another country, right. I'm fine. Well, they're saying he's on an international trip. That's okay, whatever. I doing what? He's probably doing ayahuasca one oh, last time before gracious. the season. Cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Do your drugs. He can- <laughs> as long as he's here at OTAs and we're into, we're into actual mini camp in actual preseason. Where when every- we get into training camp, that's all that matters. That's all that matters to me. Mini, it's mini <laughs> camp. It's mini <laughs> camp. Not even regular camp. It's small camp. Yeah. It's tiny. Camp. And I say we should. And I, uh, th- that's Who why I said. That's why I said the mix. Camp. The mixed feelings are there because he was there for OTAs when it's voluntary. And it looks like his team. It seems like his teammates if love him. If the fucker him. wants to take a week off, let him take a week off. And like, and the Jets, you've already sold your soul to get him. Stand by what, him what or shut gonna up. Do? We're going to cut him? Oh, my God. Imagine but we that's, fucking but cut that's, Aaron Rodgers because he's not here but that's for why, mini camp? And that's Holy why we don't shit. like Salah's response because it's not like you are going to cut him. So cut the shit. I'd rather have my Stand quarter. Stand up. My, head, my, my quarterback's not here right now, but he'll be here later. I, Next I, question. I would rather have my quarterback be great and not be at mini camp than my quarterback be Trash and I mini camp. That's it. Damn, exactly. Because a lot of these Giants are four and thirteen. Let's go. Woo, a lot woo. of these quarterbacks who are at mini camp, you're not going to make it to the playoffs. You're not going to snip the Super Bowl. That's so right. So it doesn't matter if you're there or not. But I will say, Pat Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, show. Tom Brady, they all went. We're, end the show. we're not ending. We're gonna no, end the show. no, no, no. We're not no, leaving. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. No, we're here. <laughs> Me and Lewis agree. Nah, we're ending. We're ending. Uh, we'll see you no. guys next week. For more There's Rogers nothing talk left to talk about. Jets That's talk. what they don't want to admit. There we go. We'll be back. I'm not we'll happy back. with this decision. We love you. Mwah. I'm not happy with this decision. That's right. I'm not happy.